Now, an Israeli airstrike has hit a civilian car in the south of Lebanon. Three children and their grandmother have been killed. Their mother is severely injured. Lebanon's foreign minister says the country will submit a complaint to the United Nations over the killing of civilians. Let's go live to Al Jazeera's Ali Hashem, who's in Nakura in southern Lebanon. Tell us more about what's been happening along that border, Ali, and this incident involving civilians. Well, following retaliation to the bombing of civilians and the killing of three children and their grandmother, um, Hezbollah launched several uh, Katyusha rockets towards the Israeli uh, town of Kiryat Shmona. Now, reports from there are showing there are impacts in the city, several impacts. Uh, there is no uh, reports with respect to casualties. Also, um, uh, this day witnessed an Israeli attack on two Lebanese uh, ambulances, and there were four emergency workers who were injured and taken to hospitals. So it seems this day, um, despite the fact it started a bit slow, mm. but we are climbing the ladder of escalation gradually. Yeah. Uh, Hezbollah attacked several Israeli military positions all over the day. And the Israelis are saying that one Israeli civilian was killed in a guided missile attack on a vehicle in uh, uh, the uh, settlement of Yiftah on the Lebanese border. It, it would seem that um, even though the situation had been contained, it would seem, over the last few weeks <coughs> along that border, that we're facing a different situation today. How high is the risk, Ali, of another front opening up there uh, along the border between Israel and, and Lebanon today? Well, Foley, in fact, it's already a front. Now, despite the fact the intensity of fire here is, of course, uh, far lo lower than in Gaza, however, the uh, enforcements, the uh, uh, Israeli reinforcements to the border with uh, three units uh, present here, uh, the situation on the border itself, okay, it's a contained conflict, but whenever we see more civilians killed and uh, things are kind, uh, kind of going out of uh, control and going out of the uh, rules of engagement that were set by both sides, and they were trying to update them on a daily basis, and we, we were seeing that, uh, but now when things are uh, going towards civilian casualties and then Hezbollah responding uh, by hitting Israeli uh, settlements. And there are, this is, by the way, the first time since the beginning of this war that Hezbollah claims directly that they are responsible for launching rockets towards Israeli settlements. In the past uh, uh, situations, uh, the, Isla the uh, Hamas, uh, Al Qassam brigades, was uh, claiming responsibility for the launch of rockets. But this is the first time. And being the first time means also that there is going to be an Israeli reaction towards it. Thank you, Ali, for that update. Ali Hashim, live for us in Nakura in southern Lebanon.